Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Alex and today I'm going to be sharing with you my Readerama round 13 announcement. Readerama is a readathon that I've been hosting along with Chloe from Brunette Bibliophile, April, Sarah, and Gwen, and I am so excited to say that it is back. So this is the last round of the year. We decided to do a summer one instead of our end of the year one that we usually do. So this time around we have a bingo board and I'm so excited to share it with you. So if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't. I will also be sharing some book recommendations in this video for the challenges. Let's just get started. So the readathon is taking place from August 18th to the 24th and we have daily Twitter sprints over on our Twitter at Readerama so go over there. To be updated for our Twitter sprints there will be a schedule up. This round we have an international giveaway again and this is $20 to the book depository if it ships to your country and all you have to do is hit the Rafflecopter link down below in my description and follow all the hosts and follow us on Twitter. It's super easy and it gives you a chance to win a book. So let's get into the challenges. This round we have a bingo board and you can double up on challenges. We're not trying to police you, we're just trying to have a good time and read some good books. So the first challenge is own voices and I will have recommendations as I announce each challenge. So this challenge is own voices and if you don't know what own voices is, this is to read a book where the identity matches the author. So for example, we have The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas and this is about a black girl and it is written by a black woman, therefore it is own voices. And I highly recommend this one because it's so good. Next I have George by Alex Gino and this is written by a non-binary author about a trans girl and this is own voices because they are trans. Next I have I Wish You All the Best by Mason Deaver and this is about a non-binary teen and it is written by a non-binary author, its own voices. Next I have El Defo by Cece Bell and this is a graphic memoir and it is own voices. The next challenge is to read a book with your favorite color on the cover and I can't really give you a recommendation for this because I don't know what your favorite color is so if you do want a recommendation for this comment your favorite color down below and I will give you a recommendation. The next challenge is to read a standalone and a standalone is just a book that is not in a series it's just one book and I have a couple recommendations for this. First I have Your Welcome Universe by Whitney Gardner. This is about a deaf girl who ends up graffitiing on her deaf school's wall and she ends up getting kicked out and has to go to public school. This just shows the struggles of a deaf character and I really enjoy it and I think it's underrated and you should pick it up if you haven't. Next I have U.S. or Perfect by Laura Silverman. This is about a boy named Ariel who's trying to get valedictorian of his class and he is just anxious about school and he's constantly in his work and everything like that. He's also bisexual and Jewish and I think that this is own voices for Jewish representation so you could also put this in for own voices. Next I have Running with Lions by Julian Winters and this is about a boy named Sebastian who goes to soccer camp for the summer and he ends up rekindling feelings that he had for his ex-friend and it's fun. I enjoyed it and I would recommend. And last for standalone I have This One Summer. It's a graphic novel and I really enjoy it and I highly recommend it especially that it's August and summer is winding down. This is perfect to end your summer with. The next challenge is to read your favorite genre which is just open to you. You can read any book that is your favorite genre. I don't have recommendations for this but I did just post in June a A to Z queer lit recommendations video so you can go over to that and get some inspiration. Next is a challenge we always do and this is a book with Rama in the title or author. Rama does not have to be fully spelled out, it just needs to be somewhere in the title or author and so here are some recommendations. So the first book I actually read for the last round of Reader Rama and this is Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me by Mariko Tamaki. Can you tell that I really like this author? Um, this book is amazing. It is about a queer romance and it talks about um, just toxic relationships and there's also a trigger warning for abortion and I just absolutely love this and it has Rama in the title and author so we have R.A. M A. So an R in Laura, an A in Laura, an M in Mariko, an A in Laura. So highly recommend this one and it's great to do a short graphic novel for a readathon. 
I think I'm just recommending every book that I read for Read of Rama that has Rama in the title. But next I have Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. I think that this is actually becoming a movie, which is pretty cool. This is about Henry who ends up falling in love for the first time. And it reminds me of John Green, but a little bit better. It's really funny and I really recommend it. It has a character who is grieving the loss of her ex-boyfriend. And so just trigger warning for all that stuff. But I really enjoy this and it has Rama in the title. We have an R in hearts, an A in hearts, an M in chemical, and an A in chemical Rama. And last, I have Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan. There's Rama in the title and author. There's an R-A-M in Penumbra and then an A in Sloan. So there is Rama in the title. This is an interesting book. It is a different genre. I think this is an adult book, but it is about a bookstore and it's really fun and I highly recommend it. Like I don't really have much to say about it, but it's an underrated book. I feel like I haven't recommended it in a while, but I highly recommend it. Next is to read a book in a non-traditional format, which is just anything other than a physical book. So it could be an ARC, it could be an ebook or an audiobook. So I'm gonna recommend some audiobooks that I just listened to. First, I have Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Please, please, please go and listen to this. It is an amazing audiobook, phenomenal, so good. Highly recommend it. It has a full cast. This is a historical fiction book about Daisy Jones and the Six, which is a fictional band, and I am still convinced that it's a real band. Go and listen to it. Next, I'm recommending The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. That audiobook is really good. I loved the narrating. It was awesome, and this is about a fictional movie star. And last, I have Love in Gelato by Jenna Evans Welsh. I love this audiobook. It was so good and it was just a fun story to read. So those are three audiobooks I would recommend for this challenge. Next is just to pick a book from your TBR, a book that you've been wanting to read on your TBR and you just haven't gotten a chance to read it. Next is the host pick and every host has picked a book. My pick is Peter Darling by Austin Chant. This is an own voices novel from a trans guy and this is a retelling of Peter Pan and I highly recommend it. It is so good. It's pretty short. I think it's like under 200 pages or a little bit over, but I highly recommend it if you haven't picked it up yet. And this could also go for the own voices challenge. Gwen's pick is Hold Still by Nina LaCour. Chloe's pick is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. And April's pick is Winter Song by S.J. Jump. And the last challenge is to read a backlist title, which is just any title that was published before 2019. So it's not a new release. And here are my recommendations. I have Little Do We Know by Tamara Ireland Stone. This came out in 2018. And I just read it and it is one of my favorite books of all time. It was phenomenal. This is about Emery and Hannah and they were once best friends and they're also neighbors but a couple months ago they got in a fight and they haven't talked ever since. Emery's boyfriend is found unconscious in his car in front of Hannah's house and she tries to help him and their friendship just starts to rekindle and they start to reflect on things. This book talks about afterlife and it's honestly so good. Like I cried. I just could not put this down. I also listened to the audio. So if you want to double up for any of the challenges, I just recommend this book. It's so underrated and I just love it so much. The next recommendation I have for backlist title is Monster by Walter Dean Myers. This book came out in 1999 and it could also go for a non-traditional format because this is a multimedia book. This follows a black teen who is accused of murder and he actually didn't do it and it's the trial and everything. I enjoy this for the story but also because it's a multimedia book. It follows diary entries, transcripts, and just like a film script and I just really enjoy it and I highly recommend it for the backlist title. And the last recommendation I have is By Your Side by Casey West. This came out in 2017 and it is about this girl named Autumn who was locked overnight in a library with this guy that she knows from school and he's like an outcast. This features foster care system and I just absolutely love this. The main character suffers with anxiety and I really enjoy the representation for that. Overall this is such a good book and it's not just about being stuck in a library. It 
goes a different route. So that was my announcement for Reader Realm Round 13. Everything will be linked down below. The host, our Twitter, the challenges, everything. Definitely comment down below your TBR when it's ready and tweet it to us. I'm so excited to see everybody's TBRs and I can't wait to read for Reader Rama. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will join us in August for Reader Rama. I cannot wait to read again and just fill out this bingo board. I am so excited. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe if you haven't so you can watch my TBR when it comes up and all of the other bookish videos that I make. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.